Hi, yet another uh, dumpster LCD monitor here. Dodgy brand, high sense, and uh, well, screen's not cracked, but look what's doing. I'm gonna guess that's not right. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, power supply, of course. That's the natural one. It is old, it's dodgy, it's, you know, uh, does it have a date code on there? Don't know, but it's a 50 inch jobby and well, you know, it's <laughs> it'd do okay. Like, you know, it's got it's got visa mount on the back and uh if it did work, it'd do okay, but it's um if it is if that is the boot screen, it's taken an awful long time to boot. But uh anyway, yeah, I reckon dodgy power supply. It's why it's been tossed. Alright, this is Dumbass Dave doing a voiceover because I uh, had my microphone plugged into my wireless mic when I did um, something else the other day and forgot to switch it back. So anyway, here I am trying to figure out how to take it off. You don't have to take off the outside screws. It should just be this plastic backing. I'm trying to look for why it doesn't come off now. It's probably because the, maybe the screws on the bottom or the feet have to come off or something like that. And yep, of course, the feet have to come on. There's no screws on the bottom, but yeah, that's a piss poor design. And here it is. Um, yeah, you can't um, the piss poor design. They should have cut that slot out so that then you can leave the thing, uh, the feet plugged in when you, you know, to repair the thing upright. Um, so you can access and probe all the stuff easily and view it and all that sort of stuff. And no, that was poor design. So anyway, um, yeah, it's going to lift off now. Here it comes. And... We are in like Flynn. We've got our power supply board and our digital uh, board. Mains power supply and digital board there and the uh, T-Con board there and the big black boxes. That's the T-Con board and the big black boxes are there are the speakeries. Um, so that's it. All right, my microphone's actually connected this time. Oh, professional YouTuber. Jeez. Anyway, first thing you expect and uh, suspect is the mains power supply but of course you saw the symptoms it was like it, it was working it had the high sense thing on there um so like all the digital stuff is powered up but we're getting like uh, tearing and stuff on there so maybe you know dodgy power supply but i don't think so yeah this all looks good i mean you know there's nothing wrong with the primary side here this is all our primary side you've got your mains input here you've got your common mode uh, chokes is that some uh, power factor correction going on there? We've got our uh, bridge rectifiers. We've got our uh, high voltage uh, DC uh, caps here. So they're full wave bridge rectifying uh, the mains. And um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, another bridge rectifier up there, do we? And like, yeah, that must be power factor correction stuff there. But uh, like, yeah, there's nothing going on there, really. And then you go over to the secondary side over here yeah okay we've got five output caps here um electrolytics i don't see any bulges in those so i'm not actually suspecting anything wrong at all on the uh mains power supply side i'm i'm not seeing it and then on the digital uh board over here well up uh, yeah there's not much doing i mean the power comes in at the top up here and uh, it would have been better if I could mount this thing vertically. Um, you know, if my day job was actually uh, working on, uh, you know, TVs and stuff, yeah, I'd have like a jig to hold them up without the bloody feet on them. Um, anyway, yeah, there's just a couple of electros on here and um, they don't have the vent uh, marks in them. So I'd say they're solid jobbies. Um, and there's only like four of those on the whole board. So I'm not seeing a problem there. So I'm, I'm not really seeing an issue i mean there could be something you know it could be something wrong with it. it could be a dodgy joint on one of the memory chips or something like that but you just you know you don't know i don't know is this a common fault of uh t-con um boards for example here's the t-con board over here i can take the top off that and have a squiz um maybe we can actually get in there with some thermal spray or something so i might actually repower this thing and uh and do that actually because at the moment I, I ain't seeing the problem. And there you go. It's got a big thermal pad on top of that. There's no electros uh, to fail on that. Um, and yeah, so this is the T-Con board because it's a T-shaped connection like this. That's why they call it T-Con T-Connection because um, the driver 
strips the PCBs are separated into two like this because well it's quite difficult to make a single board that's the entire length of this uh, telly so yeah they just uh, split it in two for manufacturing reasons and then they um, have two uh, wide um, channel connections coming up and the uh, T-Con board splits the image between the two you know two sides and does whatever it does I don't know whatever um, but yeah I no, I'm not seeing anything obvious at all in fact um, you know the golden rule of troubleshooting Thou shall me measure uh, voltages, but I'm, I'm suspecting there's nothing wrong with the voltages on this at all. So I'll just uh, repower this up and maybe um, just and just attack it with a freezer can or something and see if anything changes. There you go. I am getting the same fault by the looks of it. So yeah, I have got to prop it up on the floor. Okay, so I'll just get some uh, air duster like this, turn it upside down, and bingo, cold spray comes out. So. I don't know, I've got to spray it and look at the same time. Oh, I might be able to use my camcorder screen. I'll flip it around. <laughs> okay, I'll spray the uh, T-Con board. It's low voltage electronics, you can do this. No touchy on the uh, high voltage side of things, of course. Not seeing anything fail, but I'm not seeing anything come good either. Nah, it's still still flickering a bit. I'll try the processor RAM. It's hard to get in there because of the heat sink. No. Nah, that looks that looks all right. Why it's staying on that screen though? I don't know. Um, shouldn't it like go into a screensaver or or something? So yeah, now it's time to have a look-see. So gonna have a probe around the uh, power supply section. Just have a look at the inputs here. I can see 12 volts, so we're getting 12 volts. Uh, is that it? I think we're only getting 12 volts coming over um, from the power supply. I'll check that the circuit ground is chassis ground. Yep, it's just convenient. You put a ground uh, point up there. So let's read a cap, a random cap here. 4.65 volts. That doesn't sound promising. Uh, 5.12, that sounds good. 25.6, okay, I'm not sure what that rail is. Oh, that's, uh, oh, right, that's for driving the... Um, that'd be for the audio. Oh yeah, no worries. And, uh, see a couple of voltage regs up there, so let's see if we can do those. 3.3, no worries. 1.2, that sounds like a, uh, core rail for a, uh, VLSI logic, that newfangled stuff. So, that looks alright. And checking the 12 volt input, well... That's bang on 12 volts. Sorry if you're not seeing the uh, screen on that. I'll uh, switch that to AC. See if there's any ripply on there. No, nah, nothing. So, power so thou shall measure supply voltages. I've done that and they're good. So, yeah, I've frozen the, uh, frozen the memory around here. Frozen the T-Con board um, down there. And there were no changes at all. So... I don't know. Uh, now it gets ugly. So now I've got to decide, well, do I spend any more time on this thing? Um, because, as I said, the only rail coming out of here is the 12 volt rail. And it looks fine. So I'm not sure what this that uh, 4 volts on that uh, cap was, but I don't think that's a problem. Maybe I can have another look at the, just uh, the, uh, what le it looks like they're using a little SOT23. 5 or SOT20C36 so, so regulator around there, perhaps something like that. Um, it looks like it might be a switching jobby. No, they're, no, they're the switching jobbies in there, are they? I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm not I'm not familiar enough with uh, TV repair to know that uh, symptom. Is that a TCON board sympt uh, symptom? I might leave it in the uh, comments or even google it or something like that but i don't think there's anything wrong with the mains power supply its sole job is to generate the uh, backlight for the screen and the <laughs> 12 volts for the 
logic board and uh, well both of those are working so yeah you know when you start getting scopes out and stuff like that and wasting your time you know dicking around with stuff like that um, down to the signal level it's it's getting a bit ridiculous but uh, yeah frozen a few things see you know often you get lucky with the uh, freezing you like see changes or whatever and you go aha there's something in there you know there's a dodgy joint on some you know display memory or you know something like that which I can maybe kind of imagine I don't know if you're getting something I don't know what's that sort of like Terry on the display and it just has some like kind of like flickery sort of shadowy feature in there I'm not sure if you're seeing that but yeah it's not terrific. I don't think that's the backlight doing that. Um, that wouldn't be the backlight. I think that's sort of like something to do with the display and it doesn't seem to go off this menu. So regardless of how I use the joystick um, thing at the back to do various things, I can't get it to do anything. So it's like, it's not booting. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know if you know what, uh, know what this kind of uh, fold is. Um, Leave it in the comments, but yeah, I'm not going to waste money on it. I'll just whack this on the second channel and, uh, eh, I don't know. I've got quite a few TVs now, dumpster TVs. Some I've uh, repaired in this one. I don't know. It's a dodgy old high sense thing. It's not worth anything, um, so I don't know if it's worth spending the time on. Anyway, thoughts and comments down below. Catch you next time.